Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here, and I know I haven't made a video over here on my YouTube channel in a bit. I want to apologize for that. Um, there are a couple of reasons for that. So one of the reasons is that the Division Two had a bit of a content drought when we were uh, waiting from World Tier Five to the raid, which is you know what came out exactly a week ago. And I kind of want to give my opinions on the raid and give you guys an idea for those of you who may have moved on to other games, if this is something worth coming back to. Of course, this is free content, so as long as you own the Division, you'll be able to partake in this activity. So, the Division 1 really lacked hardcore challenging PvE content. Um, now, there were some parts of Division 1, like when challenging first came out. Uh, that were incredibly difficult, uh, but for the most part, the hardest content that the game had to offer were incursions, and incursions, if you knew what you were doing, really weren't that difficult at all. Um, I think the Division always missed that really hardcore content that took a lot of teamwork into account, and you really needed to think extensively about your build and want to make your build better. Uh, for the Division 1, that was PvP. That was trying to make your build as strong as possible in the dark zone so that you could fight well against multiple even entire servers and that's what the grind was for me with the division one the division two i didn't have really any type of motivation to make my build better and i think i'll leave that for another video when i you know want to go into uh, kind of talking a little bit about like what I think lacks when it comes to builds in this game how there's like a huge lack of uh, options but what I want to talk about today is specifically the raid now the developers that worked on this activity should be incredibly incredibly proud of themselves they actually put together an incredibly difficult grueling hard mission that took people hours and hours and hours to beat, and a lot of people haven't even beaten the raid yet. It took, like, I think the first team on console beat it in, like, 36 hours. Uh, on PC, it was only, like, 5-ish. Um, I ended up going through the raid about three or four times now, uh, but I it took me, like, three days to finish the raid because it was so hard to not only find a good team that was willing to stay on the entire time and try to work through these issues, but also because my build just wasn't up to par. The builds that I made prior to the last update were pretty much nuked into the ground because I built my builds around Berserk and Berserk got changed. Um, and I honestly think that two days was definitely not enough time for people to get their builds right. I know a lot of people who were raid ready, what they did is they basically just did checkpoint farming to get like hundreds and hundreds of drops at like a really fast pace. Um, but people really shouldn't have had to do that, in my opinion. Um, so I think for the next raid, if they do end up having a patch before the raid, give people a little more time to farm their gear and to change stuff around. Um, if, if you really wanted to, and like there were so many different inter iterations of like the PTS and stuff, it was hard for people to kind of keep up with what's changing, what's worth keeping, this and that. Um, but overall, like the experience of the raid is so good. It, it, it has four encounters, four different bosses with different mechanics, and the mechanics feel good. Now, I've played Destiny raids, and I think that it's kind of unfair to compare this raid to a Destiny raid, but I do know for the Division universe and the restrictions that the Division has when it comes to realism, this is possibly one of the best raids that I could have imagined for this game uh, in this given time. Now, what they're going to do is going to go back to the drawing board, try to learn as much from this raid as they possibly can, and uh, hopefully deliver us another raid in a couple of months from now that would be really awesome and i think that would be really good for the game to continuously add hardcore content to this um and i think that raids are a really good thing to bring the community together as well because it gives people a reason to kind of come together and help each other out like i ran through the raid like three or four times yesterday but i didn't need to run through the raid three or four times i was just doing it to help people out and to get people through it and uh, I think it's kind of bringing the community together because we all want to help each other with this one main goal, and that is to get through the raid, get the raid loot, which I'll talk about here in a second, and uh, just 
be able to say that you beat the most challenging content that the division ever had to offer. And uh, I honestly think that uh, this raid is definitely worth coming back for. You definitely want to try to beat it at least once. Um, and there is an exotic that you can get that's a 1% drop rate from bosses. And it's a 10% drop rate from the cash at the end. Um, but the good thing is that if you're playing with te like uh, your teammates over time, more and more people are going to get the exotic. And then people can drop it for each other and that kind of thing. So that's what you're going to be seeing a lot. Um, hopefully I can get the Eagle Bearer soon so I can uh, kind of do a video on it and talk about it. But overall, like, I'm just so impressed with the raid. Like, I'm happy that there was a piece of content in this game that challenged me and really gave me a pretty drastic gear check uh, when we were trying to do it the first couple of days. Like, uh, like, if you have a bunch of people that don't have, like, builds that are put together properly it's going to be harder it's doable but it's harder because you need to do more rotations and you need to do mechanics more properly um with really good gear you can you can kind of skip a little bit of the frustration in some of the rotations but overall like i am just i'm absolutely blown away we do need to talk about the loot though because i feel like this is something that really isn't getting talked about too much in the division community and the loot in the division too is not anywhere close to as satisfying to get as it was in the division one In the division one when you had like gear sets and you had striker and century and you had these metas that popped up that allowed you to do skill builds and you know so like all these different like variations of builds there are no there's no build diversity in the division two at all you're either building your build around unstoppable force unbreakable or berserk which is their are the chess piece talents and then everything else is is dependent around your weapon in the division one you could have one weapon you could make like 10 different builds from that one weapon in the division two your everything is so like static that it just does not feel good and the the drops that have been coming from the raid are just not good um, you know, you'll you'll clear a boss that may take you a couple of hours to do, although people are doing it a lot faster now because people are learning the mechanics and they're getting it down. But, you know, to do an activity for two to three hours to get like six gold drops, that's not good. That's not good at all. I know you have a chance to get some of the new gear sets, but the gear sets are lacking so hard in the division because I think they didn't want gear sets to be like the meta like it was in the first game, they want uh, golds to be viable still. And I think that's fine, but I do think that gear sets need a major rework. I think loot needs a major rework. I think that the weapon talents need reworks. I think that um, there needs to be a higher tier of loot above golds because when you have golds thrown at you nonstop, it's kind of hard to really know what you're getting. And uh, it, it's kind of hard to like really feel proud about getting you know a gold drop when you're getting them thrown at you like all the time so the only thing in the raid that i didn't like was was the loot you know obviously you have that exotic ar which is amazing but for a lot of people one percent drop rate they're not going to get it right so you need to reward them with the new gear sets give it as many new gear sets as, as you can like maybe after each boss three pieces drop um because i think there's three new gear sets and uh, there's only a small chance that a gear set even drops from from like each boss. And you it kind of forces you to make like multiple characters to get as many keys as you can to give you a higher chance at getting the Eagle Bear where if the loot wasn't so static and so linear in this game, they wouldn't even need to lock you behind weekly resets. Like that's what Destiny does, right? Destiny does time gated content locking because let's be honest the loot in destiny lacks big time uh not so much the exotics because the exotics are really cool and they do really cool stuff but if you look at like the gear in destiny the rpg elements on the gear are lacking and i think you guys can all agree with me on that and that's always one thing the division did much better than destiny was the rpg elements and i feel like a lot of the rpg elements in the division 2 have been kind of watered down from the first game and i think because of that they're starting to have to time gate content behind uh you know uh, times for example 
um, you know, how we have the Nemesis where it is a, 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 like each week you get one part and so it ends up taking like three weeks to get the Nemesis. Well, if the Nemesis had random rolls or had extra RNG tied to it, they would be able to allow people to get the Nemesis in the Dark Zone because one Nemesis would vary from another Nemesis, whereas in this game, the only thing that changes when you get a gun drop is the is the base damage the health damage which is the passive isn't doesn't have any rng on it the weapon talents are fixed on exotics so once you get one you pretty much have it all you and you can use crafting materials to level them up each gear score which i actually like by the way i really enjoy that you can upgrade your exotics but it doesn't make sense to me because the whole reason to have a system where you can spend a lot of materials to upgrade an exotic is if the exotics have certain roles so say for example you're in world tier 5 um and you get like a god roll uh i don't know let's say nem uh, nemesis let's say the nemesis dropped and you get a god roll nemesis well if world tier 6 comes out you can choose do you want to go for a better nemesis or do you want to use materials to upgrade the one you already have i think that the game the, the the loot in this game needs a lot more rng associated with it um and i think that's kind of what's lacking when it comes to people like really being excited about drops is i just don't feel excited for any of the drops that i get in this game you know gear sets are underwhelming yellow loot gets thrown at you all the time and this game really doesn't have rare drops like what's the equivalent to legendaries in the division there isn't any because exotics are all tied to quests and even if they weren't tied to quests you would get one and then you'd be done because if it has a high damage roll you never have a reason to farm that weapon again so uh overall like the raid itself the structure of the raid the mission itself is phenomenal but man the division devs really need to step it up when it comes to the loot get some other teams on to help out um, I, I really think that almost everything when it comes to loot in this game needs a major overhaul. We need like a 1.4 patch when it comes to this game because um, although this patch was a step in the right direction, title update 3, because I felt like, you know, my build actually matters a little bit more in the dark zone and, and the fact that this, this activity was so difficult, I felt like I really need to rework my build and see what works best in each slot. But man... To have a person in your group that's running a gear set, say it's True Patriot, and to put your team at a huge disadvantage because they're running that gear set instead of something like Six Yellows, it, it kind of bums me out. And I miss, I really miss the team play in this game. All the skills feel very in, individual. Like they, they, the skills feel like they're for you and for you only. They don't feel like you are using skills to help your team. The heals are always super uh, low. The cooldowns are always huge. And like, I just think that the skills in this game need a major rework uh, along with the loot. And I think when they do those things, doing activities like the raid will be better because you won't have one dimensional builds like we have right now. Right now, pretty much you just build as much damage to elites as you can, build a little bit of survivability and stack weapon damage. Crit chance and crit damage isn't even a thing anymore because they've nerfed crit chance and crit damage into the ground. They've nerfed a lot of the talents that used to give you crit damage as well and crit chance. Uh, you know, it's just the 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 list goes on for things that need to be reworked in the division. But I still love this game. I'm still gonna stand by it. I'm still gonna continuously give give feedback. The thing I always tell people is the worst thing you can see in a game is people not giving feedback because that means that they don't feel like there's any any way to save it. For example, there are some other games out there that I feel like are beyond saving. For example, Anthem. I think Anthem is not savable at this given point. And which is why I don't go to the developers and give them feedback because there's just just no point. Because any feedback I give is probably not doable with the with the size of the team that they have working on the game. It's just there's just too many problems. I just don't think it'll ever work out. Uh, with the division though, like I feel like they can really bring this game back and we can get one major patch that kind of overhauls loot completely and gives it more RNG and gives weapons more RNG and it allows people to earn things without ha needing to time gate content. I think this game has a bright future if they stick with it and uh, I think this game is running into a lot of issues that it didn't run into in the first. So you can't say like, oh, they didn't learn from the first game because a lot of these problems 
that I'm seeing at least were not problems in in the first division. Uh, so I'm really hoping for in the future uh, we get like you know some major reworks. But obviously this is a very large game and there are a lot of cogs uh, when it comes to this machine and a lot of wheels turning and it takes a long time for these things to get implemented. But once they do, I think that this game's really gonna shine. Anyways. Thank you for watching this video guys like i said the raid is absolutely phenomenal you should definitely give it a try and uh i will talk to you guys in the next one all right take care everybody